So, um, plus one level of socket support gems, in my opinion, the next best choice, maybe, for, um, instead of the exploded bow, since that goes for, like, over a mirror. So we're gonna craft uh, this uh, beauty, I think. Hope it's gonna be not too wild. Maybe go for 30% just to have, like, this, uh, this looking better thing, you know. E percent, E seven, thirty. We throw in a gilded. Tells much more to vendor thirty percent. Nice. Okay. Next step: linking and coloring. We need two of each color, so we're gonna make it a four. Socket. We're gonna throw on. Uh, do we start with two blue? I think we just start with two blue. Blue sockets too. And then we're gonna work our way up. So, good. Then let's begin the journey of socketing. Uh, at least, yeah, sockets. Now we go two and three, two, three. And just continue that until we hit double red. First red, go three and four. Next one, and green. Perfect. Coloring, done. Coloring, done. The reason why I like this base so much, because it only requires 150 decks. That's why I think it's really good. The problem with the other um, bows on the market is more like they're running like 250 deck, at uh, 212 decks because it's a higher base, you know? So that's why I, I thought this one is actually pretty good for its 150 decks. Uh, okay, next step, linking. Where is my, my apparition? Hello? There you go. I mean, 580. That should do it, right? <laughs> okay, uh... <laughs> That was a bit faster than expected, but there we go. There we go, six link bow with the right socket colors. Now we're gonna uh, scour that, boom, and we have our base prepared. That was actually quite easy. It's the, the good morning RNG, you know? Pay to win? What do you mean, dude? Yo, what do you mean, dude? Okay, so one level socket support gem, 30% quality, perfectly colored. Uh, and now we need uh, essences. We need essences, um, essence, and this is the essence of misery or cast speed. And what we try to hit is a dot multi on the suffix, preferably T1, which is uh, up to, I don't know, how much is it? 26? Look at it, support gems. We're gonna force that later. So what we need is a dot multi. Okay, we need more essences. So, good. Thank you, sir. So what we need... Oh, wait. What we need is damage over time multiplier. I'm gonna throw this one into our notepad. Get a trade request. But the first one we're gonna do slowly just to see if it actually works. There is a T1 dot multi. Now I need to annul off attack speed. No. Nice. Bro, this bow is, is cheap. Clean the prefix. Okay. Do we have the craft even? So we do... Suffixes cannot be changed, since our cast speed and dot multi are suffixes. Boom. Then we scour that thing. Suffixes cannot be changed. We scour that thing. Have a clean cast speed dot multi bow. Then we do cannot roll attack modifiers. 
So we have a triple suffix. And now we exalt slam. Or plus one level of Socrates gems. Perfect. Now we do multi-mod. When I'm ready and not before. And have multiple crafted modifiers. And we craft level of socketed support gems. That I probably don't have. Nope. The luck is unreal on this one. This is not luck. This is not luck. This is deterministic crafting. The annual was luck. Yeah. The other one too. Fire is extra chaos. Take a headhunter and run? No, I'm an ethical person, dude. So, and that means we have finished uh, the bow way faster than I expected and a lot cheaper than I expected. Plus one level of socket of gems, dot multi on the suffix with cow speed essence, multi modded for plus two support gems, and 15 fires extra chaos. Sadly not perfectly rolled, but it's fine for now. And now we can replace my mirror tier bow, which is this one over here. They're almost the same, you know, cow speed, crafted dot multi versus this one here. And uh, yeah, it should give me maybe uh, one or two extra stats, I guess. But now I cannot... Uh, shit, wait, now I need to... Uh, oh shit, uh, skill this one. One more dex requirement. Uh, skill this one. Okay, now we got it. Discipline, Enlighten. Plus four levels from item. Dude, I'm running an Enlighten level eight. That's crazy. Boom! Enlighten level 8. I mean, for my aura setup, it's not the best, but for the Enlighten it is. And since there is only uh, things in there... Yo, it's actually a crazy good bow. And this wasn't even that expensive. 